Okay, so is Yanqing Quest that short? Like max one hour. Okay, we'll do that. We're gonna change the voiceover to English. So that I don't need to like read things out loud, you know? It's a doggo. Can we have this as like a companion? Can somebody translate this for me? Please speak in human. <laughs> the thing ignores your unreasonable request. Thank you. Find someone who can understand. A certain cute pink haired girl, March 7th. Let's go. I'll bring you to March 7th. She speaks doggo language. Okay. Everything okay? Yeah. Can you help me translate something? Oh, why is D-Ting talking to you? I've always been nice to cute little animals. Because you're very annoying. Eh? Uh, I think I'm a better fit. That's all. Uh, never mind. No need to get offended. She's jealous. The first time we met D-Ting was during the Kafka hunt. I could tell there was a mysterious connection between us. Whenever he barked, I understood what he wanted to say. For example, woof woof, meaning, hello dear, I found a strange thing at the port of Cloudford. You may want to come and have a look for yourself. Okay. Deeting can convey a lot of information with only a few sounds. So what did Deeting find at the port? Come on, let's go check it out. Okay. <laughs> Now, what does that mean? Little Deeting says he's been dutifully searching for clues all over the Sienjo. He notified us as soon as he found something strange. Who asked him, though? So, what does he want us to take a look at? This, right? Oh my god, that is so cute. Wait, this Yanqing's echo is that extra Yanqing we pulled for, right? The C7 or E7? Dude, that's how you say his name? Yan Chiang? I'm in active pursuit of a fugitive. The situation is unpredictable and developing rapidly. So I planted this jade tracer to record my whereabouts in case I lose contact. If anyone finds this tracer, please take it to the seat of divine foresight so the Cloud Knights have the necessary intel to act swiftly. Why is he talking through walkie talkie? Ah, oh, so it's a recording device. Deeting must have heard its signal and called us over here to investigate. Okay. Even the general's retainer is getting in on the action. He looks about eight or nine years old. And he's already the general's retainer? The Sienjo really does have some child prodigies, huh? Given everything that's been happening mm, on the Sienjo recently, Eight or nine. I reckon the only fugitive worthy of a retainer's attention would be a Stellaron hunter. I wonder how he's getting along. Man, we were bullying him with Blade, you know, the Imbarbiator Lune, and who else did we use, right? Oh, challenge. Can I use extra characters? Okay, we can do that. Jepard, do you even need a healer? I don't think so. I'll put Bronya and Kingus. Okay, all right, good. There's no way he's eight or nine years old. Traces run cold at stars. I mean, so they say in the quest, right? I'll have to ask the cloud knights in the area if they saw anything. Okay. What's up? Captain, could you spare a moment? God damn, there's no way he's eight or nine years old. He is so polite. Yanqing? Why are you all the way out here on the front lines? Shouldn't you be back at the seat of divine foresight? The general already has a lot on his plate. As his retainer, it's my duty to share the burden. Nothing new to report, I assume? Correct. After this blade escaped from the shackling prison, he disappeared into thin air. I wonder if he's even still on the ship. Or perhaps he had no intention of escaping in the first place. English voice actors for Honkai Star Wars is pretty good. <sighs> what foul demons found their way across the stars to wreak havoc on the Lawfu? That's why I'm here, to help the general eliminate those demons. Is that so? I didn't receive any orders from the general. Um, uh, this is a covert operation. Then shall we dispatch a few knights for this operation of yours? Yes, damn right. I appreciate the gesture, but the fewer people who know about a covert operation, the better. Making a big show of it will only scare the snake deeper into the grass. A good hunter must operate alone. Hmm. Dispatch a few knights. Huh. How incapable does he think I am? Hmm. <laughs> I might be young now, but just you wait. You're just gonna be a year older next year, right? What is this? I'm not gonna read. Skyfaring Commission really made a mess of this. Who knows if we'll ever find all these missing ships. Find clues. The perimeter is well guarded, but there are no traces of the fugitive passing through. It seems he has no intention of leaving the Lafu for the time being. Starskips are blocked from entering or exiting. There's no way the fugitive got through. But if he fled toward the interior of the ship, 
It'll be hard to track him down over such a vast area. Hmm, a fugitive would still have to rely on star skiffs to travel between different delves. If we start by investigating the star skiff he stole, maybe we can get a lead. This is back to the docks again. I don't think it's necessary for us to fight. We will just ignore them, yeah? Oh no, go away. Okay, he's gone. Oh shit, shit, shit. Go back! Okay, he's going back. Playing dead? What a childish trick. Poke remains started trembling with a sudden anger out from his hollow eyes. Are we fighting that? Oh, why did I poke that? Okay, we get to see how strong he is now. Wait, what is his build? 85% crit rate. 112% crit damage. Okay, Coolio. He's weak. As expected, that's why I'm not gonna do a E8 Yancheng showcase. What's this? What's this? this? Kind of wound is not the work of a cloud knight. The best prey is one that leaves traces. Here, Di Ting, let's follow the scent. Okay, let's go, Di Ting. Can't you bark as you run? Uh, civilians are still getting attacked. <gasps> Where are the cloud knights? Hey, don't panic! I'll get you out of there. Is that her? Okay, show me your true strengths. Practice is over. Swords descend. <laughs> um, not bad. <laughs> not that bad. Not that great either. Oh, I kind of like him. What the fuck? Dancing always use E. Okay, we'll make that happen. Uh, okay. Okay. Lend me your strength. Auto. You like him now? I like anything that has good performance, okay? But all of these huh? monsters have ice weaknesses. Hmm. Thank you for your assistance, young man. This voice. Just doing my job. The port has been sealed off. Why are you here alone? I came with a merchant ship. The shadows of old friends have returned to my thoughts of late. That's Amalie's voice. I came to reunite with them. Who would have imagined the Lofu could become such a dangerous place? You chose a bad time to visit, I'm afraid. There's been an incident. It won't take long for the general to fix it, though. This place isn't safe. We should head to the nearest Cloud Knight garrison. Did you guys notice that her, you know, circle in the belly changes colors? By the way, this? Did you see a man with is she an Iron Man? Oh, wait. Why is she wearing this thing? Can she take it off? I don't like any characters with the blindfold, you know? You, you can't see? I, uh, apologies. I, I thought... My name is Yun Ching. I'm registered with the Cloud Knights. And your name is... Yo, maybe it's like a mixture of all those things. Maybe she's like, a, you know, that guy from, what do you call it? The, you know, Iron Man series where, like, you take your glasses off. You're like, <laughs> the laser eyes. Or maybe she has a sharing gun. Maybe she has sharing gun. Nice to meet you. Um, Miss Jing Liu, allow me to lead the way. We might have to take a bit of a detour, but I promise to get you to the Cloud Knight safely. Okay. Where exactly are we headed, young man? I don't know. We're just gonna follow the quest. To just the follow me. Don't worry. You'll be safe. Man, the voice though, it's <clears throat> so good. Let's get going, miss. She's in our possession now. Wait, can we check her out? No! We can't see her in the party. That's bullshit. Hmm. Where do we go from here? Can you keep your mouth shut? We're gonna go, okay? Oh. Is that supposed to mean something? It's kind of weird when Shh, it's like totally black. We've got trouble to deal with first. Wait it looks like she has a hole in her chest. Maybe this would be pretty good for the thumbnail. Okay, anyways, little thumbnail idea for my editor. Who are you and what are you doing here? You've come at the perfect time, little one. We could use your blood. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> he's triggered because this guy called him little. And he said he's gonna teach him a big lesson. 
Yes. Big. Okay. Where did these guys come from? Huh, the general was right. There's a threat lurking on the Sienjo itself. You are quite the sword master, young man. Hmm. Uh, you you saw that? I heard it. A sword whistles through the air and rings out upon contacting the enemy. Whilst invisible to the eye, such signals reveal the quality of one's sword play. Now I'm curious about Japanese Jingliu voice. As a musician listens to the notes of a song, so a poet listens to its rhyme. And in the flow of combat, a skilled swordmaster delivers both with their blade. I'll wager the Cloud Knights capable of wielding six flying swords at a time. Number few, indeed. Uh, <laughs> thanks, miss. However, your zealousness inhibits your ability to hide your line of attack. Uh huh? Which causes your sword's song to become somewhat mumbled at the end. <sighs> I guess the connection between music and swordplay is real after all. The general told me something similar. He said my swordplay was too proud and angular. He said it lacked the maturity required to win the title of sword champion. Yeah, that's why you need a uh, E6, right? Sword champion. If I recall correctly, that title is bestowed on one who reaches the pinnacle of swordsmanship in the Cloud Knights. <laughs> but that was a long time ago. The English voice sector sounds like they're doing Twitch ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> right. Ever since the sedition of Imbibitor Lune, the title of Sword Champion has gone unclaimed. But once everything I feel like the pace the of the turns, speech is a little too slow compared to other voice actors. The Cloud Knights have many martial arts traditions. Who was I know somebody who talks like this. Oh, basically, of course, besides Emily. I see you're no stranger to the art. I won't keep you in suspense. My master is none other than General Jing Yuan of the Wafu. General. I know you haven't visited for a long time, but surely you've heard of General Jing Yuan. He says he has no affinity with the sword, that his skills are getting rusty. Well, if that's true, I never noticed from his training. All right, the coast is clear. Let's keep moving. I don't understand the reason why we're meeting Jing Liu with Yan Qing. Wasn't Jing Liu uh, the teacher of Jing Yuan? The Starskip voyage log can be accessed through the dock navigation. Oh, easy. Wait, why can't I go through that? Yeah, this is an odd puzzle, but I like the variation. That gave me Stellar Jade. One Stellar Jade. Nice. The Divination Commission and the Artisanship Commission. Well, my work here is finished. Now to make sure you get to a safe destination. Given the present circumstances. Cloud Knight Garrison probably isn't a safe destination, wouldn't you say? Correct. So we're not going there. I'm taking you to the Shackling Prison. Safe, well guarded, plenty of food, and a place to sleep. What? Young man, if you wish to apprehend someone, shouldn't you have a reason? Suspicious behavior and half truths. Those alone are reason enough. You think you can fool me just because I'm a child? He has this complex because everyone treats him like a child. He's like, oh, just because I'm a child. A sealed off port with a stranded passenger? Unlikely. Not to mention you. He seems like one of those person who would use Twitter a lot. Stumble. Ooh, that's a well nice outfit. The biggest giveaway was your comment about my sword play. Correctly guessing the number of swords from the sound alone? <laughs> You'd have to be more than human. Well, you think we can handle her? You're not blind at all, are you? No, maybe she has Sharingan. You would never watched Naruto? You came up with that yourself. Yeah. Uh, maybe her eye is that moon thingy in her chest. Fear not, young man. I hold no grievance against you and have never held ill intent towards the Sienjo. The black veil covering my eyes is merely proof of my resolve to never look back. To never fall again into Mara and destruction. This is why you guys have been spoiling the shit out of me saying that Jing Liu is not dead. Because of this line right here. To never fall again into Mara and destruction. I came here 
to catch one person. Catch one person? It's quite fortunate that our paths have crossed. The paths have crossed. So... The one you're looking for, is it Blade? <sighs> he goes by Blade Okay, Blade nowadays. is the destruction. A so Jing Liu is also destruction, right? Dedicated his mind and body to the ways okay. of the sword. Take me to him, young man. You are no match for me. <laughs> Therefore, no match for Blade either. <laughs> Let me accompany you. There is no need to throw your life away. <laughs> oh my god. Jing Liu. I think she is blind. I think she can't see us. We have potential to make him E6. We've not even drawn swords yet, and you declare yourself the winner? Let me offer you a word of advice. Don't underestimate me. Yanqing, don't fuck with her, okay? I was hoping to avoid a conflict with the Cloud Knights. How about this? Yeah, she will have you upside down with a fork up your ass. Let's have ourselves a little contest. We can use the abominations that have infested the Lofu as target practice. And see whose sword can slay more and slay faster. Slay queen! And if I win, then I will obediently follow you to the Shackling prison and receive whatever judgment awaits me there. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll keep my end of the bargain. Yo, what is this? Some porn plot, dude. If you lose the bet, I will do whatever you tell me to do. But if I win, you have to share Blade's whereabouts with me. Fair enough? Okay. Cloud Knight never gambles with official business. But in any case, you won't beat me. <laughs> I admire your Yanqing doesn't know that he's naked right what now. Was it you said earlier about declaring a winner before swords were drawn? Hmm. It would seem we've cleared every abomination from the area. Let's find another location. Jing Liu used Yanqing's word against him, so that was very smart. I like that. May the best sword master win. What are we doing here? Oh, we're killing monsters. This place is brimming with Mora. The perfect environment for honing one's skills. Surely slaying abominations doesn't count as gambling with official business. So this is where we can use Jing Liu and Yanting at the same time, right? We go from here to the end of the path without leaving a speck of abomination behind us. The first one to the end wins. Deal. <laughs> okay. Lead the way. I like her design and everything, but I don't like that moon thingy like rotating. That looks weird. Jing Yuan trained you all right. Why? That scares me. I don't like darkness. Like when it becomes completely dark, I get scared. You think it's cool? I think it is cool, but like I don't <laughs> like completely dark stuff. Uh oh. Uh oh. We've been marked. No way, Yanqing showcase. Hell yeah, dude. I'm so weak. I'm so weak. Can we skip everything and go to the end? Where did she go? Oh. She's fast. Just, if you didn't see anything, Yanqing, we could have sounded like we were very confident, but that kind of gave it away. Too slow, young man. Can we change the voice actor right here? Oh, fuck, we can't. We can do that afterwards, okay? Okay. But how is that possible? What kept you this time? <gasps> You'll need to work harder. Otherwise... How hard? You won't even catch me in a star skiff. Oh my god, she killed everything. I haven't had this much fun in a long time. A long time has passed since I wielded this sword. The heat of combat nearly cast me into the darkness. Come, young man. Come. I'll let you finish up. I'll let you make three moves. Dude, she's not wearing the eye patch in the illustration. That is very nice. Okay, so move three times. Once. Weak. What happened to that confidence of yours? Confident. My turn. What? Once you draw your sword, you must strike down your adversary in one blow without turning back. Jing Liu, you said I can move three times before you move, and I only move twice. Strike the Jing Yuan taught you how to slay abominations. 
dude. But did he ever teach you how to deal with the Mara struck? The answer is there is no difference. The sword pierces the body and severs its life. Enough. Um her her voice line is too calming. I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep while I'm listening to this. Your final move was the only one that didn't disappoint. Double negative, nice. She failed SAT already. I, I lost? Yeah, you lost. Our contest has not yet come to a conclusion. I missed her animations. For I, I can watch it on YouTube, right? My final move. And the field has What was I supposed to do? Not use my skills? Unsheathing this sword without merit. Can I exit out and watch this again? Will of the Rainbow Arbiter and invite calamity. You, even with your strength, if you were to cross paths with Blade, it would mean death for you. Well, little did she know, we already did, yeah? We already did that. I can give you a more dignified end than dying at his hands. To die as a swordmaster. Having witnessed the perfection of my technique, refined a thousand times over. Okay, okay, let's go. What I don't care about Yanqing. To that young man. Let's go. Is he gonna forfeit? Oh my god! Oh my god! What is this? So dramatic! I refuse. Should we say it with one exclamation point or two or three? You know, it would be embarrassing for us to yell. I refuse. So we can just kind of whisper, right? We say, I refuse. Damn, he swallowed it. Oh. <laughs> you have courage. Yeah. Oh. Ayo. <gasps> Whoa. Kuru kuru. He countered it. No? Okay, never mind. <laughs> I, I deflected it? Wait, he did? That move was a token of my appreciation. We were fated to meet this day. And in days to come. This mysterious woman also wants to find the whereabouts of Blade. No. No, no matter what she wants to do with the fugitive. She must not be allowed to get to him first. I have to pick up the pace. Okay. And that's the end? There's nothing else in the operations log? Writer's block, perhaps. Yeah, that Jing Liu seems pretty dangerous. <sighs> the Stellaron crisis sure has attracted a lot of strange people to the Law Fu. Is that the last interaction with Jing Liu? Shouldn't we hand this over to Ching Yuan as soon as possible? <laughs> Yes? Oh no... Is that it? For the quest? Is this it? You wanna play with her? Well, we gotta wait until she comes out, right? That's it. Well, it was really nice that we were able to have interactions with Jing Liu, but Genshin should learn this. There is a way to bring Senora back. We can just use one of our sender character to record something and then have a reunion with the Senora, right? And she's gonna be on our side now, yeah? And let Venti kick her back. And it'd be good, right? Or, you know, let Senora kick Venti again if he wants to get kicked. I don't know. Wait. We found something left behind by Yan Qing. Here's a pineapple. <laughs> Jing Yuan's hologram waves. J Tracer emits a beam of light as the illusory figure flickers. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. This J Tracer belongs to Yan Qing. I can't thank you enough. You like the pineapple? Who's Jing Liu? You already accessed the recordings? Oh... Uh, Yes. Uh, she accidentally pressed a button. Fuck off, March 7th. It was you. No harm. <laughs> she was my mentor and my superior when I was a member of the Cloud Knights. However, she left the Sienjo a long time ago. Dude, what a rat. What if he was mad? If you see her, be sure to keep your distance and notify me immediately. Okay. Is Yanqing safe? He took on the charge of pursuing a major criminal. It is not my place to impede him for fear of his well-being. That is the nature of the Cloud Knights and their duty. I do have confidence in him, though. About Blade. Forgive me. 
but I cannot disclose this information. So this was supposed to be done before 1.2 main story patch, right? Thank you again for your help, friends from the <laughs> So I'm a little late on this. The situation remains unpredictable, so take care. I hope to be able to drink and talk freely with you once again when everything is settled. It would have hyped me up, definitely. I would have been like, oh my god, we're getting Jing Liu. And then we learned that we are going to get Blade, right? And Kafka. I'd be like, oh my god, dude, when is Jing Liu coming out? And Fu Shan, obviously, right? They kind of leaked her in their website, right? So we were waiting for a lot of characters. Okay. Yanqing has become a visitor to Express. Okay. Blade Abracadabra. We've got the song. Ooh, Master Among Swords. All right, that's cool. That was short and sweet. Very impactful. That means I'm gonna have to do those story quests because those are actually very nice. They gave out a lot of hints. They are actually meaningful, although there are some filler stuff here and there, like some unnecessary writings, but it is a lot more meaningful than the, the Genshin story quest, I believe. <laughs> you know, I, I still remember like the Sumero story quest. They hack blocked me for so long. I had to like speed run things, but I don't know, man. That was fun. Do the Yukon one later. <laughs>